Good evening all and happy Easter to everyone watching All How They Ail tonight. It is Sunday night, which means it's regularly stout night. Which one are we going for? Is this one? It is Vocation Brewery's Imperial Banoffee Pie. And it is a banana and caramel stout weighing in at a rather hefty 11% ABV. And it says on the side of the can that it's a deeply indulgent imperial stout infused with banana and caramel. God, I love those flavours. Expect a luxurious, dark and decadent taste sensation with a sweet Moorish finish. Beer this good is best enjoyed slowly. Well, I can't drink much beer nowadays, uh, so I do enjoy them slowly. See how long I can make this one last tonight. Uh, your usual ingredients are present in the can, and I am assured that all the banana flavour is purely from the yeasts. There's no inclusions or adjuncts of any kind. It's all proper brewing skill to make this one. So let's get it out and into a glass and hopefully enjoy. Let's say it's an empty stout and therefore I'm serving it at room temperature. Controversial for some, but I don't care. It's how I prefer my stouts. It allows the flavors to do their thing. So we're pouring it into the vocation glass. The pour is, it's nice and thick and heavy. Can we get ahead, can we? Can we get a bit of one? Yeah, we can get a bit of one. Not masses, but we've got just enough. That, ladies and gents, boys and girls, is as black as the ace of spades, as you can tell just looking at it. Uh, you had a bit of a head, and like I say, it's nice brown, but it's dissipating quickly. I have, uh, like I say, served at room temp, so I don't expect things to hang around forever. Um, but yeah, it looks like engine oil. It really does. Even up to light, even at the bottom fringes of the glass, there is nothing coming through. I can't even see carbonation coming up off the nucleation points. So it looks really nice. Let's have a whiff. Oh, caramel. First up, caramel. There is a hint of that booze that's coming through behind it, and then soft, and it's really subtle banana. But caramel is overriding, and it does smell like a banoffee pie. I mean, my wife makes a banging banoffee pie, uh, homemade caramel with a lot, and it, it's it's got big reminiscent notes of that. There is a bit of chocolate going on. The roasted malt's there, but the caramel is prominent. Oh, I can't wait to taste that. Let's go straight in. Cheers. Oh my, caramel on the nose, banana up front on the flavour, and it's a really nice, natural tasting banana flavour. It's not like, um, as a kid, you probably remember having it. I used to have tonsillitis a lot, and I used to have the penicillin sort of liquid that was bright, luminous yellow that tasted of uh, those banana foam sweets. This is not that. This is a real mm, gem of a banana flavour. It is boozy. It's heavy. It's sweet, it's roasted, it's malty. It is a revelation. If you've had the Imperial Kirsch, which many people can get from Tesco, you know how powerful the flavour is on that. This too is powerful. And it's bloody delicious. Oh, it's lovely. Like I say, big, heavy body. The banana and the caramel are so, so good. They're not artificial in any way, shape or form. It's not overly intrusive on the flavour. The stout still comes through. That is lovely. The banana is so good. So, so good. The finish... It is sweet, it is Moorish. They do make you want to go in for another sip, but those roasted malts are sitting there behind it, just about. And it's uh, mm, delicious. It is a masterclass in Imperial style. That is stunning. Mm. 
I'm not gonna sit and drink too much of it now because like I say, I wanna enjoy it slowly and I wanna make it last because I can't drink too much. So we're gonna go to some scoring, but before I tell you my score, I think we all know how it's gonna go. Uh, the Aid, Aid Memoir from Untapped is 944 check-ins and 4.33 average over said 944 check-ins, which is bloody marvelous, I must say. My score is going to go on that board right now, and I've not written it on here again. I'm getting shocking at remembering to write the name. So, Impy Benoffi, keep it short and sweet. The looks, it looks like engine oil. It looks like an Imperial Stout should. The only thing really missing is the head, and like I say, I've poured it purposefully at room temperature to allow the flavours to do their thing. Uh, so I never expected a massive head. I expected some. I'm a little disappointed that it's lost so much of it so quickly, but it is there. And when it was there, it was a lovely colour. It was fitting for the beer. Yes, I'm, I'm going to have to knock a little tiny bit off just because of the head. And that that's probably me more than anything. Uh, so I'm going to give it the 0.75. It is a very, very dark, delicious looking beer. Aroma, like I said, I love that caramel. It's so inviting, it's so sweet and sticky and delicious. I, I make a lot of fudge and caramel sauce at home myself and it's, it reminds me just like that. Yeah, it's it's got that burnt brown sugar thing going on quite well, that creaminess from sort of some real good butter. It's an authentic, authentic aroma. And the chocolate that comes through is really nice as well. And there's that creaminess and the little bit of the roasted malt. I cannot fault the aroma. It is lovely. It's perfect. It's going to get the full point. The body, like I say, it's heavy. It's smooth. It's got just the right amount of carbonation that you want. Is it perfect? You bet your bottom dollar it is. It's got a full point on the body as well. The taste. I think we don't even need to tell you what it's going to get, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to give it the full point because that banana is so, so good. And knowing that it comes purely from the brewing skills and it's just taken out of the yeast, it's exceptional. There's nothing in there that's just, yeah, it's just pure skill. It's perfect. It's going to get the full point. And the finish. It says it's moorishly sweet. It is. It's moorish. It's delicious. Is it perfect? Have another check, shall we? Just to be sure, you know, scientific research and all that jazz. It starts off with a banana and caramel. It fades to a little bit of that booze. And the booze is important on a beer of this strength. I like to know it's there and it does let you know. And then I expect some of those roasted malts, a little bit of chocolate, and I get all of that on the finish. It is absolutely fantastic. It's going to get the full point, which gives it... 4.75 out of 5 on the old untapped scoreboard of joy. It's just just a shame that it didn't retain the head in the same way that some of the other stouts do. I mean, other than that, it is stunning. It's sweet, it's sickly, it's moorish, it's delicious. It's banana caramel stout done perfectly. So there we go. It's Easter Sunday, ladies and gents, boys and girls. I'm not going to keep you for too long because I want you to all enjoy your hot cross buns and all whatever Easter eggs you may or may not have left. So I'm just going to say this. That has been an absolutely fantastic beer. I've been Nick. Down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Do let me know if you've tried the Imperial Bonoffee Pie Stout from Vocation before and what you thought of it as well. Catch you soon for another one.